This is my last chance to give a pitch to Iowa because the caucus is tomorrow. And I've said it before, I was raised by an Iowan. My mom's from Mount Vernon, Iowa. And that means that I understand that people from Iowa are nice. And I'm not that nice. And so I understand why you wouldn't want me as president. But I also understand that you're going, okay, you don't even understand basic tax code stuff. You don't, you're not a lawyer, blah, 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 blah. And what I'll tell you is when I, when I say I can write TurboTax, the co I can code it. Like I could code it myself. I can code it myself. Can I code the, code the AI lawyer? I feel like that's too big. But TurboTax, all I have to do is figure out the inputs, every possible input, and then every possible user. And, and that's when I, that's when I can figure out TurboTax. And once you, uh, if you can code it, you can understand it. And so, um, all the candidates in the presidential election can't code TurboTax. I can. And, um, I have all these ideas like for this two currency system, which by the way, could we use the two currency system on, or, or the second currency? Um, could we use it on student loans? Sure. Um, you can use it for anything you want, but, uh, what you spent your money on is what you spent your money on. And do I think there's a problem with predatory loans in the United States? Not as bad as some other places. So anyways, I actually understand the technology. And until you understand the technology, you don't understand how much you don't understand the technology because only people that understand the technology understand they don't understand the technology. Because you, it, until you've reached the point where you're like, I am so confused about the binary then, then you're not understanding the technology. And I feel like a lot of people think they understand the technology in the United States government, and they're the ones making the decisions, but guess who can talk to the American people in the event of a major, major computer virus? Who can, who can actually explain it to a very large group of people? Me. Who thinks that sometimes we need to do instant response as a group? Like all of the United States needs to get on their router and be like, all right, WEP shouldn't be enabled. That is a hack. You can say, this guy doesn't know computers. I just caught a hack. Hacking's not done. Hacking still exists, but certain operating systems have got made it way harder to hack nowadays by, by really focusing on the DNS cache and making sure that they're doing their own DHCP. So, um... I can actually talk to people about that stuff. No other candidate can do the basics of it. When Hillary, when, when the FBI was saying, we have Hillary Clinton's new emails, we're very confused. We need to look, for, we need to look through them. Who was the person that just told them how to write the computer program to figure out which emails were new? Me. I can write the computer program myself. And so all I'm saying is un understanding how to do certain computer things does give you a superpower. And so um, when I'm running for president, I am running for a pres for president with a superpower, which is understanding computers. But more than anything, I have these ideas that no one else has. And I mean, honestly, do I care about building the pyramid uh, um, idea myself, where I think it would generate so much electricity and it would all it, that it would can take care of its own HVAC and it would be self sustaining? I don't have to build it myself. If Microsoft did it themselves. That's fine. If Apple did it, if, if Tesla did it, I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about these patents. I want to solve problems. And so, um, a lot of people are concerned with their interests, like McKinsey and com company's interests, like the corporations that are part of their organization, they have loyalty to their organization. And those people are trying to become president and I think we need to be afraid of those people because we need to actually consider it's a vanity vanity project for me for, for, or for them. For me, running for president is, is, is like being forced. I'm forced in this situation because I make so many mistakes. But because I make so many mistakes, I'm always questioning. And I think it's very important to always question if you're right as president because if you're resolute – you're going to get your ass kicked like from a, from a, from a, your, or, or if you're too resolute in your opinions, you can get your ass kicked to the point that your country doesn't exist. And I 
no matter what, am going to be questioning what my opinion is on everything, which I think that like, it's, it's weird that that's a good thing. But what you know about me is I'll tell you the truth. Don't get me wrong. There are some things that do you need to know? Are there, are there, do I know a lot of things you don't need to know? Yeah, I do. Everyone's going, well, then why do you tell me everything? I don't tell you everything. There are a lot of things you don't need to know, especially technical things. National security secrets tend to be technical. But the average person can't understand certain national security secrets. National security secrets. That's why like, a lot of the spies that come over are not... They're, they're very technical people. This, this girl they just bought... The spy from China, they just busted her in Michigan. What, what did she do? Physics, like Andrew Yang's dad. Um, so I, I realize that that's the sort of thing you especially need to be careful about. You need to be careful about your sources. Um, but um, I feel like I'll, at the same time, a lot of countries are in the same boat as far as hacking where they're limited, where they need to do certain things that everyone knows about, but they're still attacking the same things about the operating system. So, um, all I'm saying is, you know, I'm not a foreign spy. You know who I represent. Um, you know that in the event of a war, who will, who will handle their business? Me, not afraid. Uh, you know that like, no matter what you know about me, you, you, you know that like, I try to do the right thing and I think about what I do. And if I'm wrong, I'll tell you I'm wrong. And I'm not going to be like, oh yeah, nothing happened. Iran just dropped all these missiles. Turns out 50 people have brain injuries. But no, 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 nothing wrong. No injuries. Something wrong. There are injuries. But just because there are injuries doesn't mean we need to react automatically. Sometimes um, the, the best solution is to be patient. And um, that's why it's important to listen to your military because... I don't know. Would I have nuked Iran? Maybe. But I would have really paid attention to what the military was telling me.